Hi, welcome to uh, another gameplay of GTA 3D. Now, this is a mod for GTA 3 which um, brings back all the cut features from GTA 3 that was cut during the development phase. As we go through the streets, you can notice right here there is a large plot of land which is not used. This is supposed to be where the subway is in the vanilla GTA 3 game which was eventually released in 2001. I'm uh, guessing that it, this is the early version of GTA 3. Some people call it the alpha version. Here there is no subway, at least not yet. Anyways, uh, in, instead of subway, you at least you still have the A train. If you go up here, ah, there you go, the train is there. And we can get in if you want to, but for now I'm gonna pass. Instead of uh, the subway, we have like this small lots here with uh, there's a person in here. I think he's just stopping by. He's just stopping by. And our friend here. This is uh, for those who have played GTA 3, they will call him uh, 8 Ball. But in the alpha version, in the beginning phase of development, he is called Mulan. Yeah. I don't know why he's called Mulan, but let's go with that name anyways. I'm gonna call him Mulan since I'm gonna stay true to the alpha version of GTA 3. Because this version has many, many noticeable changes compared to the final version of the game. For instance, Chinatown is a lot different. You can see there are statues here. Where there are, there, there's supposed to be like um, a noodle shop right here, right here. Uh, but instead of noodle shops, uh, we have a plot of land and we have two statues. Statue 1 and uh, statue 2. Uh, I don't know, is that a lion? Tiger? No idea. Get in. And uh, in this version, 8-Ball or Mulan is, he's not lazy. He, you know, he gets out of the car, he follows us here and there. So he's not just staying in the car just like in the final version. If you remember, in the final DJ3, vanilla DJ3, um, he only stays in the car and only leaves the car when we reach the safe house, but in this version, he follows us. Perhaps uh, he was not programmed to stay in the car back then. Anyways, I came, I brought you guys here. This is the hospital in the alpha version. Well, in the final version, <clears throat> okay, let's call it the vanilla version. The, the, the final version uh, is equal to vanilla version. The vanilla version, uh, the hospital is down here, but in the alpha version, this is the hospital, this land, right here, uh, until up here. This one looks like a construction area, like, like as if it's under construction or something. And um, as you, uh, you can see here, there are some nice logos, uh, items. I pick up items which are different, very different. This one actually resembles the ones you can find in GTA 2. For those who play GTA 2, you will notice all these items, uh, these health pickups, they look like this. And also to note the body armor. On the left side of the screen, you can see a blue colored logo or item, is a logo, whatever. Uh, that is our body armor in the alpha version and it's the same as in GTA 2
and this is the adrenaline which is not available in GTA 2 but it is available in GTA 3 of course um, okay we are moving slowly and uh, the streets are you can see that the cars in the game are a lot brighter and a lot cleaner and you can call it cartoony too and, and look at the pedestrians they a lot of them look different a lot of them look different it's like you can barely notice them from their vanilla counterparts the alpha counterparts the alpha versions are they just like a, on a different planet or something and there are some people bringing bringing their radios to the streets and the taxi is the just the normal taxi with the, with the driver and yeah look at new line just following us like nobody's in this Sorry. This is luck. And Mulan is not able to jump. He is glitching out in the wall. But we'll get to him later. Oh no, it is all locked. No oh, police castle locked, and they there are police hanging out. Yeah, outside police station. Okay. Stop glitching, man! Uh oh. Well, let's get out of here. Uh. Okay, the police have got my attention. I've got the police's attention. And uh, I cannot find any car names in this version. But the wanted level is presented on the top left of the screen in the vanilla version like most of the things are on the right side of the screen top right but in this version they are not and uh, let's go to tunnel okay the tunnel is closed still closed same info not much difference here but there is a difference when you look at all these rocks on the left and right I don't know what they are for but regardless let's move on to um, the junk here yeah the junk here Okay, first of all, I'm gonna change the car. And we're gonna pick up the car that. The car, this car looks like it came out all the way from The Simpsons. Stop! Okay. This is way better. I don't know what is the name of it. Oops. Okay, um, this is the difference right here. I already noticed it. Uh, entrance oh yeah that's the usual entrance that I go through but now there are two entrances to the oh yeah I did say junkyard pardon me I meant the, the abandoned tunnel okay uh, in the alpha version there is supposed to be a character named Darko and we are supposed to have missions with Darko and one of the missions involve us uh, blowing up a school bus this uh, content is uh, regarded as highly controversial because you know kids go to school and stuff and the school bus is yellow in color very synonymous to normal like real life high school and normal school so it is a controversial issue and actually GTA 3 received a lot of flack during the beginning phase and it was 9-11 was the trigger point which caused many changes 
to be made. From what we see here, a lot of it disappeared by the time the real game arrives on the PC and consoles in 2001. A lot of these things are all taken out. And uh, the police car too. Uh, if you notice just now, the police cars are blue in color. Uh, they look like kind of look like the New York City police cars uh, this is where you pick up the body armor this logo is also taken from GTA 2 I am not sure whether or not are they just placeholders before the final version is released because there are many questions regarding the alpha version but anyways the good thing is that we managed to get get hold of this one. You, you can download it too. I will send a link down on the description box and you should you should really give it a go. Anyway, I, I saw a different name just now. There was some water something uh, on the, the lower right. And here we are at... Uh, what do you call this? Okay, Greasy Joe's Diner Restaurant. I don't know if... Is it okay to just call it one thing? Do they really have to call it diner and restaurant? Or maybe this thing serves two purposes, but whatever. We don't really go much into that. It's not important. But uh, this is a, an alpha advertisement. Advertisement. Super safe. I wonder where I first saw this super safe, but let me think. Oh man, my memory is fading. But anyways, let's change cars. This uh, looks like the Kuruma, but uh, there are no car names in this this mod. Uh, we just downloaded this now, it's all for free. Water pot something, I, I saw. Okay, now we are in China. Yeah, you can see the school. Let's go to the school. Alright, welcome back to school, ladies and gentlemen. I know I have left school for a long time. Uh, and uh, you cannot enter the school, but it is what it is, especially during the alpha stage. It is a school and man I gotta say I like the, the interior oh, okay there's cloth that is alpha cloth this is cartoony cloth or whatever you want to call it I call it cartoon cloth because well, he does not look like a realistic person okay I just like the interior of the car, the, the seats and the, the, they look more classy in this version but uh, unfortunately we later on they change it to uh, just a generic black seats in, uh, in the vanilla game the, the alpha the alpha is a uh, more beautiful kind of aesthetically the alpha version looks more beautiful compared to the vanilla version it is as if um, maybe it's just me, yeah. Because uh, I don't know about you, but you might think differently. But anyway, the, the bridge is still not repaired yet, and there is no way to to repair the bridge because um, in this mod, the the missions uh, there are no missions in this mod. It's been taken out temporarily. Uh, this mod is still under development, so expect some changes, which I will hopefully cover. God willing, I will cover the changes. Uh, should there be any changes for this mod? This is the original GTA 3 game, but it's modified so that the things from the alpha, the old version of the game, is brought back. One of those things is of course the funny graphics. We are in the red light district and we are gonna run towards Epic 
Hebben Heights. Hebben Heights. Mm, nice call. Um, but for some reason, Hebben Heights is called The Projects. I don't know anything about this. Uh, okay, there's a small door which clock opens and then closes. I thought that he's just gonna jump in. Stay out here for a while. I'm guessing that these guys are the Diablos. Uh, I don't want to mess with them. I don't want to mess with them. Okay, now I can get in. Still no car names. Hmm, I like the sound of the engine. Seriously, there's a health pickup right there. The same as the in Del Scrolls. This is the coma again, and we are at head radio where there are no, not many changes. Yeah, not many changes. So let's pick up a gun. There are some changes. I'm not sure if that is that counts as a change or not, because um, there are also changes in sound effects in this game. And okay, now I've converted to the. Top down camera, which is just like the original GTA games. Let's look at the game from a top down perspective. Yeah, this bring back this brings back memories of the old you know, GTA One and Two. Definitely brings back memories. Then again, probably the cartoon graphics fit with uh, the top-down graphics yeah the, the 2d kind of fits with this one but then again this is called GTA 3d it's, it is Rockstar's transition from 2d to 3d and uh, kind of a beginning of yeah, testing the waters with uh, open world games yeah they were tr trying out GTA 3, all the bells and whistles of open world development. This building is. Oh, it is nice. Looks like a church. Maybe a bank. I can see through it. Kind of. Chinatown's a lot different. Bus. It's not a school bus. I have not found a school bus yet. Uh, I'm not sure where I can find them. We are in it's, uh, Little Italy. We used to call this place Saint Mark's, Saint Mark's Bistro. And, uh, well, this is Marco's Bistro now. But in the alpha version is called Little Italy. Just like, just like in real life, uh, there is a place called Little Italy in New York City. And while Liberty City is based on New York City, in this version, they kept the Little Italy name. And uh, ouch! Can I? Oh, there's nothing here. This this guy is probably one of the mafia, or the Leon or the mafia, whatever they are called. And uh, we can just go through the grass of uh, Salvatore's house, the Don's house. Oh, I saw some. So this is their cars. Huh? 
So instead of uh, the Leon Sentinel, we got this uh, this regular looking sedan. So the, the Mafia drive this kind of cars in this version. I don't know what is the purpose of this rock right here. Oh, ah, yeah. well, I can jump through it. Yeah. Uh, anyway, this is Salvatore's house. Not much difference inside. Still looks classy. Lit. Um. Hmm. The lighthouse. The rocks have some greenish, uh, s s green, like some texturing on the rocks. I really like this texturing. I don't know about you, but it kind of looks. Beautiful. Make it makes it look more beautiful compared to the one we got in the final version of the game. I wonder if we can actually it looks like we can get through it. Okay, let's try. Since I got a body armor Since I got a body armor, I don't want to go through there. I'm just gonna jump. I hope I live. Wow, the body armor really does its trick. Okay, I'm going to try this. It's going to be a long shot, but... Okay, in the original version, I am not able to do this, but let's try anyway. We did it! We did it! We freaking did it! We arrived at... We just reached the lighthouse! Oh, this is a miracle! But, uh... Can we... Yes! We can even... It's all solid! This is amazing, this is the first time ever. Just brilliant. And now we are at the lighthouse. Just now we are up there. Now we are down here. I mean, not really that down, but Hmm, well this is just this is, this is brilliant. Kudos to the developers of this mod. Thank you for bringing back the alpha version of GTA 3. I appreciate uh, what they are doing right now. And um, oh, I think we are running out of time. I think that's all the time we have for today. One, the only thing left for me to say is um, thank you for watching, and uh, I wish you all good health. And please stay at home and stay safe, especially during these trying times. Yeah, please stay safe and stay at home. And do take care guys. Thank you. Goodbye. Ah, so beautiful.